think we're going to get started now. Um, my name is Mari Naomi, uh, and I'm going to be your Diary Comics Workshop Guide today. Uh, I really would want to thank um, Kristen Radke and everyone at The Believer for having me here, and the Sequential Artists Workshop who has sponsored us. And um, thank you for coming and uh, spending your time with me. I'm, I'm really excited for this. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about, about myself. Uh, my name is Mari Naomi. I've been making comics since the 90s. I have a bunch of books out. I've done graphic memoir, I think four graphic memoir books, uh, a graphic no novel trilogy, and I've been making diary comics every day on Patreon for years and years and years. Uh, so that's me. I also uh, am the founder and administrator for the Cartoonist of Color database and the Disabled Cartoonist database and the Queer Cartoonist database, which I highly recommend checking out if you um, want to hire some marginalized cartoonists or want to find their work or want to find others um, if you fit that bill and perhaps want to enter yourself into the databases. Um, would love that. So I'm going to share my screen now. This is something I've just learned how to do. I'm kind of a Luddite, so bear with me. Uh, here's, here's how I feel about diary comics. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tell you about today's exercise, and, um, and then we're going to draw together for about 30 minutes. Uh, and at 440, you can share your comic with everyone else um, if you want. You don't have to. Uh, please keep it PG since we're going to have uh, all ages here um, doing this. So for those of you, uh oh, how do I do this? Sorry, bear with me. Oh, here we go. So this is the exercise we're going to do. Uh, we're just going to make a real simple diary comic since uh, we don't have a ton of time here. Um, the exercise is you're going to think of something to draw about, write it down and decide how you're going to draw it and have fun. Um, those of you who are uh, more seasoned cartoonists, feel free to get started if you want. For the, for the beginners, I'm going to just give you a little intro about diary comics. So um, what is a diary comic? Uh, it's like a diary, but with drawings. Um, they can be wordless or they could have lots of words. They could be one panel or two panel or hundreds of panels. For the sake of this exercise, we're just gonna leave it to one or two panels. Um, diary comics differ from memoir in that they're more immediate. Memoir tends to be uh, stories from your life that you look back on and have a little bit of perspective, but diaries, like like any diary, they're made to kind of look back at and then get perspective that way. At least that's how I see it. Um, why would you want to do diary comics? Uh, I think they're fun to look back at. Um, they can be cathartic to make, a great way to organize your thoughts and focus on what matters on the day-to-day -day basis, especially if you do them every day. Uh, they can be enjoyable to share with friends and family or Patreon or nobody. Um, they're a great way to practice your drawing and storytelling skills or to warm up at the beginning of the day. Um, and so what's important in a diary comic is that you say what you're trying to say. And I feel like that's what's important in every comic is that the reader and yourself, you, you know what you're trying to say and you say it. Um, anything else is great. Uh, so keep it simple and have fun with it. So these are, uh, oh, here we go. Um, so if you don't feel like you're good at drawing, like many of us don't, that's okay. You don't have to know how to draw or be a good artist to draw a diary comic. It's fine if you wanna do stick figures, um, what you wanna do is figure out how you're gonna draw yourself and anyone else who might appear in the diary comics. So I've created uh, some doodles of, for example, here's me and my husband, Gary, as stick figures. You could draw it that way. You notice the difference in the hair, you could tell who's who by what the hair looks like. That's a pretty good comic strip. Um, you could also draw yourself as squiggles or shapes or colors. Um, really, there are no rules. Um, I This is how I generally draw myself and my husband um, when we're doing diary comics, uh, when I'm doing diary comics, just that's my diary comic persona. Um, so this exercise, I'm going to have you think about something that happened yesterday or today or whenever, but um, 
to be easy yesterday. It could be a thing, a thought you had, a moment, a meal, an outfit, a conversation, or a text exchange, um, really anything you want to draw about um, and find relevant. And then I'd like you to write it down, keep it to a sentence or two, so it's real simple, and um, then decide how to draw it. Uh, you can use references if you want, or you just make it up. It, don't, it doesn't have to be accurate. It's not a legal document. Um, it's just for fun. Uh, sometimes when I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to draw my diary comic about, I'll just go through my camera roll because I take pictures of everything and I'll see, okay, well, what happened yesterday? And, you know, and it's also very good for reference if I want to draw something directly off of, you know, out of my camera. So you're trying to capture a feeling. And that's what this is all about. And uh, most importantly, have fun. There's uh, no rules here. There's no pressure. It's okay if you suck at it. We all suck at stuff, um, especially when we're first trying it. And uh, some of us, after you've been doing it for years, we still suck at it. But you know, it doesn't matter because the more you do, the better you're going to get at it and enjoy. So I'm, I put together some samples of some diary comics I've made over the last few years. Uh, this is one of me staring at my phone back when I had long hair and so thinking, why isn't she texting me back? I hope she's not dead. And so that was the moment that I decided to capture on that February 25th, whenever that was. Here's another one I drew on my iPad, uh, January 5th of some year, I don't know. Um, and it's my husband, Gary, filming me playing with our kitten and me saying, this is fun, but I really got to get to work. And then in the second panel, I'm watching kitten videos from my workstation, not getting any work done at all. And uh, here's another one. Uh, it's restorative yoga with Amber. And you can see, even though you can't see who's speaking, um, there's a word bubble. It says, while you're in fetal position, if you want to set an intention, you can do it now. And I'm thinking, I intend to always stay kind. Um, you can tell that it's Amber talking, even though you don't see her because I preface it with restorative yoga with amber. So that's another cartooning trick. Um, here is a one panel. I think this is one of the first comics I drew on my iPad where I was missing a butterfly I just released. I raised butterflies. And uh, I think that was the first one I'd ever seen be closed. And that was 2018. And here's a recent comic I did. Um, it was my first pandemic grocery excursion over a year ago. Gary's asking, you're getting groceries for Yumi and Nikki? You're a good friend. And I said, they both have colds and they're Asian. I can't let them get hate crimed. And then three hours later, I had transformed from good friend into less good friend, saying, Lassen's was nuts. I'm never helping people or leaving the house again. And uh, so those are some diary comics and I, it's time to draw now. And um, so this is the exercise. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask them in chat. I'm not gonna be able to draw and look at chat, but um, we have some posts who are taking care of that. Um, so, you know, please ask your questions in chat and uh, the host will decide which ones to share. Um, and later on, hopefully, if you feel comfortable sharing, uh, your comic, we'd love to see them. And I'm gonna to try to stop sharing my screen, unless I should leave it up here. Should I leave this exercise up here or do you wanna see my giant face on your screen? What do you guys think? I'll leave it up. <laughs> I'm gonna draw quietly unless anyone has any questions. Oh, perhaps you'd like to see what I draw my diary giant face, please. Uh, okay. Wait. Okay, I'm going to show you. This is where I've been drawing my comics lately. Um, I got this organizer in Sweden. They're very little. I spend about 10 minutes a day working on each comic. So. You know, they're very simple. I try not to give myself too much pressure and, and uh, just, just get it out and don't worry about being a perfectionist because if I try to make it look nice, it's not gonna get done.
I'm being pretty meta and uh, drawing what I see right now, which is not normally what I do. I usually wait a day. But honestly, I can't remember what happened yesterday. So all my days are bleeding together. I'm really regretting drawing with ink and not my normal pencil with eraser right now. This is where so far. Wow, there's hundreds of people in this quote unquote room. That's so cool. I can't imagine actually physically being in a room with hundreds of people right now. <laughs> Hopefully soon that'll happen. We have a question from Kimmy, who is wondering if you have any tips for when you're overthinking it. Whew. Stop overthinking it. <laughs> uh, that, that's a tough one. I usually take a break in that situation because, um, yeah, my brain just sometimes decides to go and there's nothing I could do about it. So I'll maybe get up, take a, get a glass of water or something, have some tea walk around, check the internet. <laughs> um, yeah, just basically distract myself because that's the only tip I know. I feel like one of the beauties of diary comics though is if you're thinking, if you, if you get muddled up with what you wanna write about, like if there's a specific thing that, that you're antsy to write about, but it's just too complicated. You could always be like, you know what? I'm just gonna draw my outfit yesterday and, uh, and leave it at that. And then you can kind of jot down some notes so you can draw that bigger thing later, but kind of just put it aside. In fact, that's, that's generally good for any kind of writer's block is just put it away for a second, do something else, come back to it and see if your head is cleared.
Marie wonders how you boil something down to uh, like a couple of just a couple of panels. It depends on what that something is. Uh, do you want to elaborate? In the meantime, uh, well, Marie answers that Neil is wondering um, if you normally sketch in pencil first and why might you do that? Um, I usually just draw diary comics in pencil because I don't want to spend too much time on it. Usually it's a uh, practice in the morning. And, um, and since I just, I'm drawing all day, I don't want to spend too much time drawing diary comics. Uh, but I have um, refined my diary comics in the past. Like the last example that I showed you was, uh, was I'd done several versions of that comic. Uh, that was actually because it was for some museum, I think it was at USC. Uh, so yeah, if, if it's supposed to be really refined, then I'll sketch in pencil or or on the iPad or whatever, I'll, I'll have several iterations, but I try to do it as quickly as possible. So I'm not overthinking everything. And, uh, and, and yeah, so but with comics, with, with comics that I'm commissioned to do or graphic novels or, or whatnot, I there are so many different stages and one of them is is definitely pencils and then inks etc I almost never do what I'm doing now which is just drawing straight to paper I mean you can see I messed up my my headphones like immediately that was the first thing I did was mess up so what are you gonna do <laughs> Maybe I'll blacken them in and pretend that they're not silver. When it comes to boiling down um, experiences though, I mean, that's, that's probably the hardest thing about writing any kind of comic or any kind of story is just distilling it to, to what's important. And sometimes that means doing a bunch of rewrites. Um, with diary comics, I try not to do that too much because again, it's just supposed to be a very quick exercise. And, uh, and so if something catches, if I can't figure out how to tell a story, I'll just tell another story or you know, another moment or whatever. Um, but yeah, that is the trick is, you know, where's the beginning, middle and end you know, in life? Because this, this is stuff that's happening to you. What's the point of the story? You know, it's it's so much easier to write a fiction story where you're like, okay, this is the point. But in life, you have to, there is no meaning to life. So you have to kind of create it. Oh God, that's a horrible thing to say. Um, <laughs> you have to create your own narrative and figure out, I'm so sorry, kids, I've ruined your lives. <laughs> oh, anyway. <laughs> oh, I see my goddaughter here. Hi, Riley. Sorry about that. <laughs> I suck. Anyway, yeah. Um, comics are hard. The end. So I colored in my uh, headset because even though that's not what it looks like, I'd messed up. And I'm adding words to it now. And it's, it's weird because I'm in the middle of doing this thing and the words are, I did a thing. So I feel like that's an appropriate diary comic is just to have an image and uh, just a little bit of text 
kind of explaining the image, but the text isn't necessary. The image is necessary. I will date it too. Let's see. April 16th, 1960. So we've got about 15 more minutes of drawing. If anyone has any questions again, I'm, I'm happy to answer them. Megan is wondering if your comics include someone from your life, um, how do you handle things like privacy uh, when you're sharing comics about real people? Well, that's tricky. I mean, if you're making comics for yourself, then obviously you don't need to worry about that sort of stuff, because especially if it's a, like a normal diary, you, you don't plan on sharing it with anyone. Sharing it, especially with the Internet, is really tricky. Uh, my first book was about my sex life, and that mostly involved other people. And uh, so that was that was pretty tricky because I had to kind of navigate like I couldn't tell the story without telling talking about other people. What I ended up doing, um, the publisher requested that I changed all the names and all like everyone's defining characteristics, which I, for the most part, did. Um, I also reached out to them, and this is something that I regularly do now when I'm writing about someone else. If I feel like it's some personal information, I, uh, I'll kind of contact them and say, "Look, I." you appeared in a comic of mine, do you want to see it before it's published? I don't ask for permission because that could just take, that's, yeah. Uh, but I, but I, but I like them to be prepared for it to enter the world and for us to have a conversation about it before it goes out there. Um, and this mostly involves people that I care about, like, for example, my mother or people that i don't want to unfriend me on social media or something like I'll, I'll reach out to them. And um, what's, what's funny is you just can't ever second guess how they're going to respond. There were stories where I thought that I thought were very cute and framed the other person in a very positive light where they were mortified. And uh, there were other stories where I thought uh, were pretty benign um, and had similar, similar reactions. Um, and then there were other stories that I thought, oh God, this is so embarrassing. This is terrible. They're going to hate me. And they were just so thrilled that I made a comic about them. And uh, you just never know. And so you, you kind of have to, the fact knowing that I, I will never know makes me less nervous about doing it other than, you know, the obvious nervousness is, oh God, you know, how, how's this going to go? But, but yeah, you just can't assume that it's going to go badly. <laughs> but if it does go badly, then you could deal with the fallout there and decide, well, do I still want to share it or do I want to change it? Um, yeah, it's complicated. There's really no, no uh, surefire way to not make people angry at you. <laughs> <laughs> there really isn't. Uh, there, there are definitely people who were upset when I about things that I wrote about them, but then over time were really grateful, which that's also very odd to me. I, my, my emotions don't aren't aren't that uh, uh, malleable, I don't think. Um, but, but you know, that was pleasant <laughs> when people over time just are happy about something they were upset about. Mostly I try not to think about it until after the comic's done though. Cause if I, if I think about it while I'm drawing it or before I'm drawing it, I just won't draw anything. That's, that's the trick to life. Don't think <laughs> about anything.
I'm scrolling through all your faces right now and it's so nice to see all these friendly faces. Yay, hi. <laughs> And again, if you have any questions, please direct them to um, the believer since I don't have my chat on. Hi, Naomi. <laughs> How do you think about backgrounds? Do you draw a lot of backgrounds? I try not to draw backgrounds when it's a really simple comic, unless it's relevant to the comic. Um, and this is something I, I learned for myself just from having so many the deadlines. Uh, and that's actually how I ended up becoming, uh, well, people have called my, reviewers have called my comics minimalist, but really it was a matter of me I had like four comics going at the same time and they were all weekly comics and it was just insane. And I just had to figure out how to tell the story as quickly as possible, as simply as possible. And, uh, and that meant a lot less drawing, but sometimes I really enjoy drawing backgrounds. And that's the thing with, um, besides just the simplistic nature of diary comics, like it's, it's also just for fun. So sometimes I just want to draw a background. So I do it. When it comes to more formal comics, like a graphic novel or or whatever, like I think the backgrounds are very important to do, uh, just to, for setting up a scene, for example. But um, but yeah, as far as diary comics, it doesn't really matter. Like I'm trying to find something to share. Okay, here's here's a really simple background of a fence in the background. Um, I, my my biggest concern about any background is that or any drawing really is that the reader look at it and they know what it's supposed to be. And sometimes things are just so hard to draw that I'll draw something really terrible. And then I'll just have a, a word that points to it and say, this is a house or this is a tree because sometimes that's just the fastest way to do it. Here's, here's sort of a background. Uh, this is when lightning struck near my house and here's it's kind of a background. It's my husband's in the foreground and I'm in the background with all the dogs and cats. I have a, a four cats and three dogs and uh, everyone just woo, jumped out of our seats at that point. I'm trying to find another background. That's, yeah, I just don't draw a lot of backgrounds for my diary comics. This one's kind of cute. It was a, it was a, sometimes I just do a dire comic about a video that someone sent me. That's really cute. And there was a video of a baby bear cub playing in the snow and it's like playing with a snowflake. And that was my diary comic that day. Really be about anything. When you're beginning a big project, how do you organize uh, your story and get started? Oh man, you know, honestly, I've done seven books and no, seven books published and I have another one that's finished and another one that's almost finished. And every single book is completely arranged differently. Actually, that's not true. The graphic novels were, were all the same, but they're, they're a trilogy. Uh, I feel like the the very beginning of, of, of brainstorming 
involves me just having a, a not like lined paper and just scrawling, just just endless just words and drawings and just trying to get it out, thinking, okay, I'm gonna arrange this into something later. And I never ever look at it again. Like for some reason, like I'll I'll just have notebooks and notebooks of stuff. And it, it's it's almost like a mind dump. And but the more I think about stuff, the more it'll I'll be able to channel it into something better and sometimes uh it's something more cohesive i've definitely uh had times where i i would do activities to clear my head there's a there there hopefully still is there used to be a spa in los angeles we spa it's called where you just go and you sit in hot tubs and and spas and you know obviously you can't have your phone there and it was it was this great thing and you just sit there naked and and just all you could do is sit there and think unless you have someone with you there but like I would go alone and I would just sit there and I would have the best epiphanies in that situation because yeah nothing no distractions I couldn't look over and think my cat box needed a cleaning or I have to do the dishes or whatever it was a just that focus like just a lot a lot of thinking and then once something starts coming together I feel like intuitively my, I just know how I'm going to put things together. Like sometimes I'll just write an entire uh, script. Oh, I think, I think uh, we're going to start sharing if anyone's ready to share. Um, uh, please raise your hand either uh, like either like this, or you can use the little zoom button. I am a Luddite. I don't know how that works. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and a member of the team will spotlight and unmute you. And um, when you when you get on, please let us your, know your name and where you're calling from. And uh, again, it's all ages on this call, so please keep it clean. <gasps> hey, dog daughter. Hey, mommy. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Are you going to share your comic? Remember, you have to share. There on the little computer. There you go. This is in my comic. Um, so it's about me at today. Um, at lunch. Um, at Boys and Girls Club. Um, I thought that I had Panda Express in my in my lunchbox. So here's panel one, and it says, "Hmm, I think I have a Panda Express." And then I, my friend Sebastian says, why you have Panda Express? And he goes digging into my lunchbox. <laughs> and I yell, hey. Nice. <laughs> Riley Tanner, you're amazing. That was awesome. Good job. Hi, Lainey, I see you back there. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hi. You heard me now? What's your name? I'm Monique. I'm from New York. Uh, and I have, thank you. Uh, this is four panels. And this is yesterday. Uh, my boyfriend and I were celebrating our anniversary. So we went to the New York Botanical Garden, where there's a Yayoi Kusama sort of exhibit throughout the oh my gardens. God. Oh my god, yeah. that sounds so, so great. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. So this oh. first panel is him and me looking at this pumpkin. And she has these very long names for her pumpkins. This one is a pumpkin. This is us saying, apparently this pumpkin is screaming about love. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. <laughs> yeah, she's great. And then here's the slightly larger pumpkin where um, it also has a long name. Uh, so we're saying, and this pumpkin is lonely in a way that is comparable to death. Oh my God. And um, there is this large outdoor sculpture pumpkin <laughs> that is just called dancing pumpkin. So we were just oh. so amazed that this pumpkin was huge and dancing and you could go up to it. And so we decided to ah! dance with the pumpkin. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my God. Oh, that's, I'm so jealous of your experience and happy anniversary. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. It's around until November or October. So wow. <laughs> go there anytime. <laughs> thank you for sharing. Thank awesome. you. Hi. Hey, hi. Hey. <laughs> My name is uh, uh, Desiree Discini. I'm from uh, Farmington, New Mexico. Um, and I actually drew two things. I will do the smaller one because I was trying to 
incorporate what you were, <laughs> you were saying. Um, Cause I drew a big bunch of stuff, but uh, the main thing I'll, I'll focus on is this. Yeah. Um, so oh. my, my sister and my friend and I, we all walk our dogs um, and it's uh, springtime in New Mexico is pretty notoriously breezy. So yesterday was really cold and really <laughs> windy. And um, I'm really excited how this one came out. Cause my other one was really detailed and I wrote a lot about it, um, which really turned out to be like a diary with, uh, with pictures. So I really like the simplicity of this one because I love how you drew Misty and I love the person on the left. Their expression is amazing. Oh yeah, that, that, that that's me. Cause I was like <laughs> awful and I just we all um put our hoods kind of down and kind of look like aliens walking in the desert. So um, I love it. Thank you so much for sharing. Oh my yeah, god. Yay dogs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Hello. This is so great. Um, this was really fun. It took me a while to think about what I did. <laughs> Wait, tell us your name and where you're from. Oh, my name is Aya Komaruyama, or Aya. And I am um, in uh, New York State. I'm in Haudenosaunee Nation. And this is my drawing. Yesterday, I woke up and stayed, a wa stayed up. <laughs> <laughs> and got up without crawling back in. Yay. Good job, Good job yeah. Aya. I, one of my characters in, 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 I had a comic in Razor Cake magazine named Aya. And it, oh, it was a comic called uh, 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 Asian Goth Punks Rule the World. So yay, Aya. Thank you so much for sharing. <laughs> hey. Hi, uh, my name is Terry, um, and I am in New Jersey. Um, and Yay. I am getting, I am dressed as Doug from the show Doug because I'm going to a '90s cartoon themed dance party. Oh my um, god! After this. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Um, so I went for a walk in the rain yesterday, and Ooh. I slipped on like the most magnolia blossoms I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Um, I'm so sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, I love that you use color. Thank you. Oh, that's so cool. That's the best thing to slip on if you're going to slip on something off the street. <laughs> Didn't fall. Thank you so much for sharing. Hi. Wait, how do you? Oh, we're muted, I think. Oh, okay. Um, hi, my name is but this is my mom's thing so it's Carrie um, <laughs> I'm from New York and that's where I'm calling from and I kind of made two but they're the same thing so I did one in like a sketch um, no color and then one in color where cool. I outlined it on my iPad I don't know if you can see um, I love summer in math and I'm very bored and I'm thinking about summertime um, the and then oh I'm sorry wrong one and then this is the one in color <laughs> nice um, awesome yeah it kind of killed me to do it in black and white because I love color so much so sweet yeah. oh my gosh that looks so nice thank you thank you so much for sharing thank you hi there am I unmuted I'm sorry <laughs> I can hear you hi I'm hi. Ray I'm in Williamsburg Virginia hi um so I hope the focus is up oh, is it backwards yeah. Is it no, backwards? It's not. Okay. I, or else uh, you write backwards. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is me. Um, yesterday, uh, I woke up at nine instead of eight. I have a very arbitrary sense of when I should wake up. <laughs> and but yesterday I was like, I'm late. I'm well, no, it says I'm not late. I'm right on time because I'm awake and I wanted <laughs> yellow for sunrise. Cause who doesn't like morning glow i love it when color is used very to show very specific things like time that's awesome <laughs> thank you so much for sharing thank you hey uh hi my name is rehana and i'm from washington um and i do this snack that we made yesterday um cool 
I don't know I if you can see it very well. I can't read the, the words, so if you, if you um, wouldn't mind reading okay. them to us. Okay, so I have actually have it here. You put it in a deep fryer, and then it expands, and it's colorful and crunchy, and yeah. That sounds fun. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, my God. I want to eat that. <laughs> There you go. I guess I'm up. Okay, uh, so I, I'm uh, Georgia. I'm from uh, I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Uh, I am uh, not doing a thing these days. I'm hanging out with my baby, and we take almost the same walk every day. It's uh, to a uh, lookout spot on the River Valley that's in my city. Can you see that? Because it's pretty light. I'm just using a mechanical pencil. It's a little dark. What does it say? You can see a person pushing a stroller I think yeah yeah so yesterday I found a milestone the baby stayed awake all the way up there so I'm saying you stayed awake all the way up here uh so uh so as the baby stayed awake I put him on a blanket so he could see the view <gasps> oh uh, yeah so uh, I always um I've been taking basically the same photo every time I'm up on that view so I tried to just sketch it out <laughs> and I took a selfie I do that every time I do a specific hike. I always take a selfie at the exact same spot. <laughs> yeah, it was for selfie with the baby since he was awake. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. I love it. Hi. Hey. I'm Argentina. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, here we have uh, some new restrictions that uh, are going to. Uh, to, to start tomorrow. And today I went to my Pilates class and everyone started talking about it and they all uh, talked over each other. And I was like, uh, I just wanted uh, my Pilates class like really sad because <laughs> that was the space to, to relax and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I love your drawing style. Those are so great. Were you, did you use a Micron pen? What, what kind of pen is that? Um, oh, uh, cool. They are assholes. Nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. Hi. Hi, I'm Malia. This is Kaide. We're in Kingston, New York. So today it was kind of rainy where we are. So the kids are complaining. So here <laughs> they are. They're saying, no, we don't want to play outside in the rain. And I say, but you'll have to do my workout with me. <laughs> okay. And so they did the workout with me. I'm good at this. I'll do burpees instead. Oh, my gosh. And last panel says soon. And here's my son crying. It's too hard. <laughs> my daughter got hot, so she took her shirt off. And she says, I'm Superman. And I'm doing this one-arm Superman exercise and singing the Superman theme song. Oh my gosh, who chooses to do burpees? That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. I love it. Hello. Hi. <laughs> there you Can you go. hear me? Yeah, there you are. Okay, hi, sorry about that. Um, no problem. Hi, my name is Muna. Um, I am calling in from Northern Virginia, really close to Washington, D.C. Um, so if you don't mind, I'm going to share my screen because I did mine digitally. Cool. Um, let's make sure I'm doing this right. We don't have those permissions turned on, but I can come back to you if you could like put it on your phone or oh. something. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's okay. I'll come. I'll come back to you. All right. Thank you. Hello. Hey there. How's it going? Great. Good. Uh, I'm Haley. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. Awesome. Yeah, and I just have my drawing on my iPad. Let me unlock it here for a second. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you can see that, 
I ah. can you read that? Yes. Uh, okay, great. Yeah. I um yeah, I just pulled out my uh patio furniture the other day and had a nice little relaxing time with my two dogs this afternoon in the nice summery, I guess spring weather now. Oh, your dogs are the same size as my dogs. I love it. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thanks for letting me share. Thank you so much for sharing. I love that. That's beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> thanks. Hello. Hi, uh, I'm Hi. Xavier Lee. Uh, I am from Texas, and I kind of drew mine as like a in like a month time period. It's kind of weird. Um, I like weird, so please. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I recently have had this, like, kind of crush, kind of, on somebody, and I had just gotten his number, and I had texted him, and after one day, he didn't answer, I'm just sitting, Aww. and after a week, I'm just laying in bed, I'm like, he still hasn't answered, Oh no! and then after two weeks, still hasn't answered, I kind of just gave up. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not gonna say I love it, but I, it's adorable. <laughs> I know, but it, it's sad too. So it's sad, but you know the All best right. comics are sad. Thank you so much. For Thank sharing. you. Hello. Hello. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of noise because my roommates are packing for a camping trip, but. Um, oh. I drew, oh, the lighting in here isn't great, but I drew an event that happened yesterday. Um, my boyfriend said that he'd bike with me to school. And so um, I'm like, time to get up. And he's like, nope, I'm going to sleep more. And I'm like, but he said he was going to bike. And then it's like me throughout the day, different stages, like I'm biking to school, you're in the light. <laughs> I'm biking to school. Um, and then it's like I'm really angry and then it's like I'm in my art class and I'm like okay this is getting better and then like I'm excited to see him again because like I understand the the desire for more sleep because pretty much I'm <laughs> jealous that I couldn't sleep more I love how you drew that bike I please tell me you had a reference because they're so hard to draw well there's a bike on the floor we're doing oh. a bike trip this <laughs> Shoot, good job. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I, I forgot to say, um, I'm Gabrielle Panyolver Dumas, and I'm in Acadia, Maine. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Hey, JM. Hey, how's it going? I'm JM Hunter outside of Columbus, Ohio, right now. Woohoo! And uh, so I just kind of basically did one cartoon just to kind of. That's freaking awesome Thank you. i to, can't read the words though something that, about pizza yeah I can't letter for crap but i'm trying to work <laughs> no, 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 out no, it's, it's the blurry of the screen here oh, you read okay. it to us if you wouldn't mind oh uh, i said i recently uh tried to start working out and then i've got twizzlers and pizza and I'm <laughs> donuts and pizza and all kinds of other junk food so i'm just doing a push-up challenge right now for a mission 22 fundraiser but I'm um, still eating like 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 crap, basically. So <laughs> one thing at a time, like 30 day habit building, I think is what I'm trying to do. Wow. Yeah. So, but Amazing. it's really hard with the dad bot. So. <laughs> I love it. That's a Thank great you. drawing. Thank you so Thank you much, Sam. Right. Yep, we're back. All right. Hello again. Hey. Uh, Muna from Northern Virginia. So I printed out my comic. Uh, wow. Ooh. so what I did was I was taking a walk in my neighborhood and I saw a pile of rocks. Um, it was a pile of rocks arranged into the shape of a heart. And I thought it was really cute. And I said, is this the work of a fae? Is this a fairy? Or is it an Instagram in influencer? <laughs> that is a valid question. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for sharing. That's awesome. I love how you, you do you. yourself too. Hey. Hello. Hi, I'm Sarah Marie from Toronto, Ontario in Canada. Ooh. And this is my comic. I bought scissors on the internet and they sucked. So that <laughs> I could cut my hair, but my hair was so annoying. 
that I didn't care. And I just used kitchen scissors and oh. then I cut it and it's too short and it's kind of crooked, but I only care a little bit. <laughs> your hair looks amazing and your comments looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. That's awesome. Hey, Walter. Uh oh, uh, you're muted, so I can't. There, there we go. go. Sorry. Hey, I'm Walter. I'm from Philadelphia. I did the comic uh, a couple days ago. I got my first vaccine shot, and I'm super nervous about it driving to West Philly. Um, can't see what I said. I'm getting my first vaccine shot today. I'm really, really nervous, but everybody is super friendly, super helpful. Um, basically. I expected the moment to be bigger, but I didn't feel any pain. Um, didn't hardly felt the needle. Uh, the nurse said, I'm a bleeder. And she put the bandaid <laughs> on me. And, and so I got a sticker as well. And then it was just super quiet and peaceful during the 15 minute rest period. And so that's supposed to be me reading a book. I probably should have heard the arrow to the book because it's not clear what it is, but that was it. Oh. Uh Awesome. Well, congratulations on your shot and thank you so Thanks. much for sharing. Yay. Looks like we're uh, seeing two more people. Uh, hi. Hello. Oh, I didn't realize you were up so quickly. Hi. Um, my name is Alexa. This is my wife, Sarah. We both hi. Participated. Um, can you know that? Um, and my comic is about yesterday and my, my journey, my long journey to go get vaccinated. Um, so there's me on the bus and oh, and I'm from San Antonio, Texas. Yay. Oh my God, <laughs> your drawing is so cute. I love it. Yeah, so um, they have what it's called Primo buses here, which are the express buses. So in my comic, I am saying, wow, this Primo bus is booking it. <laughs> and then it says bus is going 150 miles per hour to get me to my vaccine appointment. Excuse <laughs> Thankfully, <laughs> nobody got hurt, and I got to my appointment on time. Yay! Happy ending. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't hear mine really quickly. Um, I don't know if it's like focusing. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I teach museum education virtually, so I'm this. I had once like a spiritual reading that I give off yellow energy. So nice. I'm this like blob, and these are like comments from my students. Um, that are like, this is going to be so epic. And they're like, we love you. It's so, and I was telling them stories and they're like, oh my God, so sad. Oh my God, this is so cool. So it was a nice virtual day. I love that you used emojis in yours. That is yeah. a very good <laughs> use of emojis. <laughs> just emojis. Thank you so much. Oh, hi. Hi, um, my name is David. I'm from Los Angeles. Um, hey, I, me I, too. I, <laughs> This is from uh, yesterday. It's just kind of like a Zoom hangout I did with my friend. Um, and then I worked out. Uh, and then I finished the day eating uh, a chicken sandwich and watching Bob's Burgers. <laughs> a chicken sandwich and watching Bob's Burgers. Yeah. I love it. Oh, you're a good drawer. Thanks. So good. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Um, all right, I, I guess that's all that, that we have time for, but uh, I want to see the rest of your comics if you want to share them. Let me see it. I have instructions here. Um, I guess you, if you go on social media and tag me and the Believer Mag, is it Believer Mag, and use the hashtag uh, Friday Night Comics, I would love to see your comics. I'd love, love, love. Um, so, I uh, thank you so much for, oh my God, it's almost five. Ah, really fast. Thank you so much for the, to the Believer for doing this um, sequential arts workshop. Thank you all for joining me. This was so much fun. It went by really fast. I didn't think it would go, go by so fast. Um, if you want to donate to the Believer and help them pay their artists like me, um, mm -hmm. please do. They have a link somewhere. Um, please uh, check out my website, marinami.com. And if you uh, liked any of my diary comics, please become a patron. And I'm so happy to have met you all virtually and maybe someday. Thank IRL. you, Mari. <laughs> let's, give, let's give Mari a hand, everybody. Yay, thank you. 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 Thank you.